I'm Jake Frank from North Dakota, and I'm nine years old. I've lived my whole life that I can remember with amputated legs. Hazen's pretty small, it's not very big. For fun, I usually ride my bike or ride my go-kart, run around outside. You can actually bike with my bike like other people, except you have to use your hands. Me and my dad run more than bike, but biking is probably my favorite. I wouldn't like it if I couldn't do sports and I just was kind of stuck in a chair or something like that. I wouldn't like that. When Jake was born, he was missing his tibia, his front lower leg bone. And the doctors, I don't think, knew exactly what they were looking at. They knew something wasn't right, but they thought maybe it was just a severe club foot case. I think it was two days after he was born, we went to Grand Forks, Dakota, and to see a specialist. And he did the x-rays, and that's when it hit him that he's like, well, he doesn't have club foot, he's missing his tibias. The doctor said, really what we need to do is amputate. It's like a sock to the stomach, and, you, and I just looked down and thought, you can and take these off, they're perfect. At nine months, they did the surgery, and the first prosthetics were awkward, and they, it was a big strap system, and if you lift him up, they would fall off, and just make my stomach hurt, because I thought, ooh, it should be better than this. And ultimately, it was a collection of all those struggles with those awkward prosthetics and heavy prosthetics that pushed us then to look for something different, look for something better. Please welcome Rudy Garcia Tolson. Somebody passed us this videotape of Rudy Garcia Tolson's story on Oprah. And here's the kid, he's climbing the walls, he's riding the bikes, he's running. And so with that tape, then uh, I decided to just start visiting prosthetists. Peter Davidson came to do a little satellite clinic here in Hayden. And I brought the videotape in, I brought Jake in, I said, I want you to watch this. And I said, you know, I want this for Jake. This is what I want for him. Oh, he said, it's no problem. He said, I know Rudy. He said, I know him. And he said, and his prosthetist is my brother. The hospital in Bismarck flew Rudy in so that Jake was able to meet him and he did some speaking at the hospital and at the schools. And that was a huge gift because in rural North Dakota, you don't walk down the street and see very often anybody with a prosthetic anything. Rudy not only has taught Jake, he's taught us. He's helped us to see what we have to look forward to down the road for Jake. These right here are some new running leg skates for you. The Challenged Athletes Foundation, beyond the financial and the men in that sort of thing, they really provided him with a family and a community that is like him. They knocked those barriers down and opened those doors wide. Our family will be heading out to Minneapolis to meet Nick Nelson and his family. Nick is a nine-year-old, just like Jake, who chose to have his one leg amputated. And the idea behind the visit is really connecting uh, our family to theirs, and of course then Jake and Nick, to give Nick the opportunity to see the possibilities that lie ahead. Hi, my name is Jake. I'm nine years old. I was born missing the tibia bone. It's the bone in the front of your leg. I'm, I was missing it on both legs. We've been looking forward to this for the longest time. I just, I had this sense that they were just going to bond, and they were going to bond pretty quickly. Well, Nick, I'd like to invite you to the Challenge Athletes Foundation this fall. What's that? It's in California. <laughs> There's just something about Julie and Jake and, and their whole family that, that is just so kind of similar to our family. It probably sounds a little cheesy, but you just know you're not alone. And, and there, there are other people out there with shared experiences. It's extremely important to have the connections with other families, other amputees, 
because there again it creates or offers a vision that you just otherwise don't have. I remember when I uh, first went to school, I thought, oh, good grief, lunch trays, and if he hits a slippery spot on the floor, or how's he gonna sit in the chairs when his legs don't bend? I mean, he just says, I'll do it my way, Mom. I'll figure it out, I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. When people face challenges, whatever they might be, I think there's a certain gift of wisdom and uh, maybe maturity that you maybe don't see in other kids his age. I don't think he actually realizes what he does to others. Um, I've said many times that he's my hero. I don't ever hear him say, oh, this isn't fair, why me? He's an active kid and we want him to stay that way. And I want him just to know that he can do whatever he puts his mind to.